Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Many people have heard about the earthquake swarm that happened there at Yellowstone on Thursday, according to USGS. And they only report up until Friday because after Friday they go home for the weekend. But they have 114 earthquakes reported so far. On the Idaho Statesman, Michael Pollan, the scientist in charge, was interviewed quoted as saying so the 91 earthquakes at that time were real quakes and it happened to occur when there was also a synthetic experiment happening which is really cool because it means the natural swarm was seen by hundreds of temporary seismometers Poland wrote to um, McClacky News it will be the best recorded earthquake swarm in Yellowstone ever and they posted an image from Yellowstone's Upper Falls of these synthetic earthquakes that were produced by a truck that was driving around and vibrating the ground hitting the ground and they were tracking the return signal basically to find out how close the magma has come the reason they probably posted right away the upper falls is that's where they had this one truck park here we have the upper falls and i want to show you this area we'll zoom in over here they have some maintenance yards over here there's one um yeah this this one's kind of strange almost looks like a a tub and possibly some people or something in there but I'm going to go over here, pull this out. All right, there we go. This is, looks like um, where all the people that work at the park and they got their RVs. Um, let me zoom in. Yeah, they got a little basketball court for recreation. Um, some sort of truck with possibly a trailer on the back but it makes sense that you would want to go out and fake your stuff for you look this looks like a, a power truck here or a tow truck possibly it's got a boom on it there's, a, there's another one but I suspect this is an area where a lot of the maintenance people live is in this area so anyways before you would take the truck out you would do a test run to make sure it's working right if you haven't had it out for a while and that's why they showed the upper falls first because that's where the truck was parked before they decided to take it down to um, the other location so I'll bring this out for you a little bit over here we got the gas station the convenience store but notice the road going in this is all private this is all for park people all the people that work there another thing I want to show you is that they sent the truck out after the earthquake swarm started there so we got um, mountain time and we got universal time notice this is the 11th the earthquake st swarm started on the 10th here we got the 2.3 at 1301 2.7 at 12:50. this is universal time um, a 2.2 2 at 1233 on the 10th they didn't send the truck out until after the earthquake swarm started and they sent the truck out on the 11th and you can see that here right there we got the 11th universal time that would be the 10th this is the 11th universal time 10th mountain time so they sent it out actually very late um, oh let's see this would be probably nine o'clock at night uh, there at Upper Falls they sent the truck out so were they really already in the field when this seismic swarm happened or did they rush the truck out to find out what was going on under the ground how close the magma 
was rising. Now, remember, back in 2012, 2013, the government repealed a ban that would no longer allow fake news to be posted by our government here in the U.S. Prior to that date, they were allowed to put out fake news uh, for political reasons in other countries, but not here. And then some congressman got the wise idea um, that it wasn't fair that they could only put fake news out in foreign countries, that it should also be allowed to come here. And so the law was changed and it passed. That was called the Smith Modernization Act of 2012. Kind of reminds me of that movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, uh, where there was going to be contact with aliens on that mountain, what, Wyoming? So they faked a uh, chemical spill and put out a bunch of dead animals just to get people to stay out of the location and meet up with the aliens. How many of you saw that movie? So on the following day, they flooded the market, social media, about how there was fake tremors sent, set off by Vibrosi, a Vibrosi, one truck set off by a fibrosis truck driven through Old Faithful, West Thumb Canyon Village, and Lake Butte as part of the experiment conducted by the University of Utah and the University of New Mexico. The University of New Mexico website has nothing about this going to be done. Here they're seeking funding um, for this subject and quantum computing and working with NASA about um, space, but there is absolutely nothing on there about doing any research at Yellowstone. Absolutely nothing. I'll probably put something up real quick just because I brought that up and showed you that. So let's go back a little bit farther and see if there's any type of research going to be done by the University of New Mexico. Nope. Going back to July. And we'll go back even farther. Yeah, several articles about cannabis and the pandemic. More about space. Let's see, we'll go back even farther. Nope. So I typed in Yellowstone to see if there was any research there. April 15th, uh, relationship between the Earth's mantle and its atmosphere. A, photo a photography project. Um, hydrothermal systems at Val's Geothermal System. Now they're going to donate some books. Uh, climate change, 2018, Yellowstone Hot Springs back in 2016 and I clicked on that link and I get an error so I think they sent the truck out after the swarm started just to find out how deep the magma was and was it was rising now we can learn something from this notice this signature right here when the truck went out and this was about 12.30 universal time, um, 7, 7 a.m. local time. See how it's bump, 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 bump. Some people might take it as a drumbeat, but this signature is completely different than any other signature um, that has been seen there at Yellowstone. Let me close this so you can see there's no other signature here. Now, this is from a borehole, a very deep well, Borehole 208, which is at the fishing bridge there at Yellowstone Lake. Again, this well is about 250 feet deep. And I wanted to show you. So people might think, well, okay, we can see how deep the magma is. But this is the signature of them hitting the ground, um, small explosions, whatever they, how they work. But this is the signature of them doing their test. This is not a regular earthquake signature. Oops, I'm off the line. 
a regular earthquake signature. Now, if we want a regular earthquake signature, well, let's, oh, let's find one here for you. We got one here in red right there, and it matches up at both monitors. This here is the borehole at Yellowstone Lake. This is the one at um, Little West Thumb. Let's look at its wave, okay? Let's take a look at that, and then we'll come down here and take a look at this. Notice the difference. Okay, 7 o'clock, and we'll come down here. Oops, I'm off the line. Yeah, big difference. Okay, I'll pull it over. Doesn't even show up at Little West Thumb because it was so small. See that? It doesn't have the sharp popping like a regular earthquake would have, such as that. So we learned something new, which is pretty cool. We know how to identify an artificial signature of an earthquake. So they started the test right here at about 1149 universal time. and looks like the last signature came in at 1208. So they ran it for, what? 20 minutes and this is the only time that I see this signature anywhere on these two monitors. I'll pull this up so you can see them. I want to come up to them because we got other earthquakes and they're all marked in red. Okay, so we got this one here and this one here. We'll look at the signature. There's a P wave on that. Another earthquake um, at three different monitors. At, um, let me pull that up. There you go. Let me go do that to the other one. All right, so this is when they sent out that machine to thump the ground. And we'll look at its signature. See the difference? Big time difference, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll use this as a learning lesson about signatures of earthquakes. And we'll pull this one here, too, that shows up on, on all three monitors. I'll show you. See, it's up there, um, which is uh, Little West Thumb, uh, Yellowstone Lake, and then Norris Junction. We'll pull this one, too, because this is where they were doing their testing. There we go. So not only is the wave of the earthquakes different, the spectrogram is different. Oh, off the line, sorry. There we go. Okay. Big difference. So here we have a real earthquake, and this is their testing that they did, did for, what, 20 minutes. So going through these seismic signatures and I'm going to go ahead I don't see um, that anywhere at Norris Junction I'll bring it down for you a little bit we do have a lot of activity going on at Norris Junction we got definite magma on the move at Norris Junction but I don't the only place that I can find of course, I only have three monitors. I don't have upper falls. Maybe I should um, get upper falls. See, that's not it. That's, yeah, that's, that's magma moving through this system. Yeah. Some people might think this is it, but that signature is completely, let me pull it over, completely different. See that? This here is the borehole for Norris Junction. All right, what else we got? We have one in red right there. And what else do we have? Let me pull it up. Got another earthquake there. I'll show you his signature. 
I'll go back to this one. And let's go up a little bit and look at this. See that signature is completely different. Completely different. And a lot, <laughs> a lot in red. Yeah. Now I've talked about how they, when they have um, hot gases and steam that comes up, hot water. Um, that's what you got there. And the lines of melt, we got two lines of melt. Let me go back up over here. Let me see, pull some of this. Anyways, yeah, it's always nice to learn something new. And we'll use this as a new learning tool. Another thing I noticed too when tracking out these earthquakes, the farther away from the center where all the activity was going on, um, we had a 0 0.2, a 0 0.4, 1.1. Um, this is possibly a 2.0 or 1.8, but it was along a creek which is called Solution Creek, which comes from Riddle Lake. And as you know, creeks and rivers, they love to follow along fault lines. Let me bring this in for you so you can see that creek and come down. Yeah, Solution Creek. Oh, we got good timing for the uh, live webcam. Old Faithful's going off. I don't know how long it's been going off. Looks like it's petering out. And I don't know if it was on time. We'll have to check the time. Um, it would be 428 local time, and it was supposed to go off at 432. So it's back on track, it looks like. At least for this one. Remember that one day it went off almost a half an hour late. And it's supposed to go off about every 90 minutes. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.